good morning to you. My name is Mother Gail Trailer, and this is Just In Case. Have you ever had a season in your life where you're being moved from here to there and new things are on the horizon and your mind is trying its best to believe God's word but the things that you see are contrary to a, an expected end well I'm in one of those times I've never been here before. It's an adventure. I sure do hope I succeed. Well, let's put it this way. With Christ, I have the victory. That's the other part of my mind. The other part says, I've got to succeed. And then again, you know, hmm, I know one thing. Even though I'm born again and God's Spirit lies within me and walks with me and talks with me, this is an exercise of faith. Come on, let's pray. Dear Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this 30th day of January. Boy, oh boy, Christmas has come and gone. Halloween, Thanksgiving, ah, oh, we had such a good time. Now, Father God, we are in the midst of winter. And February is in view for most of us. We can only live one day at a time. So we thank you for this day. And we ask you to keep us. Strengthen us. Forgive us, Lord, first of all. Create in us clean hearts. Renew the right spirit. Guide us every step of the way. We need you more than ever. Thank you for what you have done, what you've done in the past, what you're going to do. We're holding on, Lord. Holding on to your unchanging hand. In Jesus' name we ask thee. I um, got some coffee here. A scripture that really, 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 really comes to mind is Isaiah 26 and 3. Which states... in the King James Version. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Mm -hmm. The easy to read version says, God, you give true peace to people who depend on you, those to those who trust in you. Hallelujah. Uh, as I said before, sometimes we go through a uh, tests, the testing of your faith, work of patience, the trying of your faith, work, work of patience, but let patience have its perfect work. Last night, uh, Gary was, I, I, I had a clock, I found a clock I liked, and I wanted to put it in his man cave. It was better than the clock he had in there, and uh, I could hear him, <sighs> I could hear him from the other side of the house saying gosh darn you know was it gosh darn or was it gee whiz <laughs> or golly gee you know he's, he's he never curses he just says uh things like oh bull snot <laughs> He's a country guy. And um, 
I was saying in the other room, we have need of patience. Lord, I don't have patience. Gary doesn't have patience. And then I begin to quote the scripture out loud. The testing of your faith, the trying of your faith work is patience. I don't feel like doing this. Why is this happening? Why doesn't it just work out the way I want it to? And I, I'm yelling at myself and, uh, you know, saying things that was obvious. The obvious thing was patience. Being patient with yourself and patient with things that go along your, your way and, and, and patience in life. Just patience. I'm at a point, and it was funny. Just and it took the the it took the uh, the, the the sharpness off of the uh, the situation. Lord, we need patience, and we want it now. <laughs> and uh, we we got the little clock up, and we put one here and there because Gary likes clock all over the place. And went in the bathroom, men's cave, spare bedrooms, you know. Definitely one in the bedroom. No, two of them in the bedroom. But um, we put it up and he liked it. Blah, blah, blah. It was so funny. Instead of us, instead of getting frustrated, you know, making a joke of it. But we need patience. All of us need patience. And patience to be had while we're going through something is really necessary. I'm in the midst of uh, a new day, like you are, and um, at the end of the close of yesterday, I found myself worrying and thinking over, mulling over what had happened during the day. And, uh, you know, uh, there were times during the day I, I felt spirits of self pity. Uh, spirit of, uh, I don't know, fear, all kinds of stuff, you know, while I'm going through. These things are barking at my trail as I go through this test. But the Lord wants us to watch. Watch what you think about, okay, during those idle moments when no one else is around. These little idle thoughts that are often um, given to you, not only by yourself, because you can dream up some wondrously powerful movies in your own mind, and all of them are just chaotic and chaos and, 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 and bad report and, you know, of doom. That's That's the... You know, Cinemascope and Technicolor. I'm, I'm good. Because I'm imaginative. You know, I've got a brain that imagines. I can imagine anything I want to. I'm given that choice. I've been fearfully and wonderfully made, remember? Well, during the times of God's working on you, while you're in the potter's house, going through your trials, Watch what you're thinking about while you're up on that potter's wheel. Okay? Um, we have false ideas, you know, false um, evidence appearing real. That'll stay right at that at your border. Just waiting for you to open up your eyes in the morning. Um, uh, regrets and 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 just a fictitious, just all kinds of things. At this time, um, I have found that uh, it's good to have a pastor who preaches the word, preaches the word. He knows how much, God knows how much we can bear, you know. And uh, what's happening in our lives, pastor told us yesterday at noonday, is only what he knows we can bear. But let's not add to the, the workout 
the, the spiritual workout, uh, troubles that are fictional. Okay? Fictional. We have to affirm our trust in the Lord. We must affirm it. I will trust in the Lord with all my heart. Lean not to my own understanding and all my ways acknowledge him. That's a trustworthy verse of scripture. We have to remember these promises. And because uh, uh, even though we don't let people in on our thought life, it affects our behavior. Um... If you see someone who um, seems to be extra happy, like myself, sometimes I'll get extra happy. Pray for me, please. I, um, I just need prayer. And I need your prayerful support. Uh, I think I frightened a couple yesterday. I hugged someone too hard, but uh, hey, forgive me. To err is human, to forgive is divine, but please forgive me. And um, we are made to uh, think as we choose. But we must remember that uh, he'll keep us in perfect peace. Why and how? If we keep our minds stayed on him. That's found in Isaiah, 26th chapter, third verse. That will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Watch your thoughts. If you're going through something. There are times, I, you know, you're going through this thing. And, oh, if I could just share it, I'd be so happy. Would that remedy the situation? Would that, just for someone to understand, would that make me feel better? Would them carrying the load with me, would that ease my mind? Unless you have been given that uh, choice of uh, prayer partner, which I have not found yet. I hope you, you could be one of them. <gasps> Without your spoken word to me and without me hearing you, let's pray for one another. These are times of trials and tribulations and testings and uh, these things will, will work out for your good but we've got to keep our minds stayed on me. When we were a child we thought as a child uh, uh, 1 Corinthians the 13th chapter and the 11th verse says when we thought when we were children we thought as a child we spake as a child and we understood as a child but uh, when I became a man or a woman, I put away childish thoughts. Remember, uh, they, they couldn't close the door while you were in the bed in the dark? <gasps> what did you do? You imagined. You imagined someone in the closet. You imagined someone under the bed. I went to a, a wedding at uh, about four years old, and my mommy was taking me to the dock, uh, to the uh, ladies' room. And I imagined, I couldn't get it out of my mind, uh, that I wasn't going to get a needle. And I thought I was in the doctor's office. We were in this um, great big hall and people were wearing white ushers and so forth. We were, you know, church folks. And I imagined I was in the doctor and I cried and made a big fuss. I'm going to get a needle. Well, when you get older, you put away those imaginations, you know, like very imaginative. Then it says in Psalms 112, and verse 7 to 8, He shall not be afraid of evil things. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. 
His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he sees his desire on his enemies. Wow. Well, um, goes to show you, even while you're going through testings and trials, although you may not look like you're going through testings and trials, there are enemies. Go figure. You're fighting out inside, and then someone else comes along and kicks you in the shins. <laughs> Both shins. <laughs> but you gotta keep trusting him. Okay? And you're fighting. This is a good fight of faith, isn't it? May God bless you this morning and keep you. And like, if you're like me, and you're going through a test. Let patience have its perfect work. Remember, we're not children anymore, so let's lasso, you know, gird up the loins of that mind. Watch that fear. Put your mind on the Lord. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. God bless you. It's Thursday. It's 12 minutes after 7. I've got to go down the road a piece. And it's January 30th. The year is 2020, and I'm just passing.